to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. You guys actually did request for me to do a tutorial on this look after I wore it in my August favorites video. A fair few of you guys wanted to see a tutorial, so I'm here today to give you guys that. I know that a lot of my subbies up in the Northern Hemisphere are currently going into the cooler weather, you know, the time when all the fall colors come out to play, and I feel like that is exactly what this look would be great for, even though, who am I kidding, like I'd wear this kind of look any day, any time of the year, but I mean, just saying, like, full vibes, you know what I mean? I really do hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with that being said, let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to prime my face. So I'm going in today with the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Now, if you guys haven't already seen it, I will leave a little link up top for the first impression video that I did for the foundation and this primer. I have not yet used this primer with any other foundation, so I kind of want to test it out with a few other foundations. So that's what I'll be doing today. Now for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. My one is in the shade number 27, Bisque Neutral. And the way that I like to apply this is to dot it onto my face in sections and then go in with the Sigma F60 Foundation Paddle Brush and pretty much just like paint it on. It looks like I'm literally painting my face, but I feel like this gives the best finish. And because a little goes a long way with this product, I feel like this brush is perfect for applying it. You know what's crazy is that this foundation used to be like a little bit too dark for me and now it's almost a little bit too ghostly for me, but we're just gonna work with it and see how we go. Next up, I'm going to color correct. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This one is called Peach Corrector. So as you can see, it does have a peachy undertone. I pretty much use this in every single one of my videos. So if you're a regular watcher of me, you already know what it is, but I pretty much just take a swipe to each eye and then I will blend it in with a Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. Now for concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. And I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and apply that in all of the areas that I want to conceal and highlight. So underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and a little bit on my chin. And then to blend it in, I'll be using the Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques. Do you guys see how like jacked up my setting powder is. This is the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. You guys know that I love to use this product for setting my concealer. So as you can see, I'm just setting all of that concealer that I just applied in place with this powder and I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush to do so. To set the rest of my face in place, I'm going to be using the Hello Flawless Pressed Powder from Benefit Cosmetics. My one is in the shade Petal. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys knew that though because I use this in pretty much every single one of my videos. So as you can see, I'm just patting that in all the areas that I have not yet set and I'm using a Sigma F30 large powder brush. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face a little later but for now I'll be getting started on the eyes. So for today's look I'm going to be using this baby right here, the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die palette. Let me just give you guys a little look at what we're working with. So as you can see this is how she looks. Like all these warmer shades over here that is the realm of tones that we're gonna be delving into today. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids. So I'm using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone and I'm using a Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lids, right up to the brow bones to create a nice and smooth, even canvas to work with. And then of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of that base in place with the same translucent powder I used earlier. It's always important to set the base in place just so everything is nice and smooth and ready to go for the shadows. Alrighty, so my lids are all primed and ready to go. Now I'm gonna go into the palette and I'm firstly gonna go in with this shade right here, Abigail. It is a matte brown, like a matte light brown shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my crease as my initial transition shade. And I'm using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. As you can see, I'm just running this back and forth through the crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eyes. I just wanna say that that shadow went on so smoothly. I haven't used this palette in a really long time, so I low-key forgot how the formula works, like just how good it was. But like, look how smooth that transition is right now. Like, do you see that right now? Anyways, for my next shade, I'm going to be going into this one right here. This is Josie, as you can see. And I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Now, what I'm going to do with this shade is also apply it in my crease. 
but I'm not going to blow it out as far as I did with that first Abigail shade. So this is just going to add further dimension and depth to that crease area. All right, so we've got that second color in the crease as well, but it's also important to go back in and, you know, blend in that top edge. So what I like to do is just take the brush that I used to apply the first transition shade, and I just like to go along like the top edge and blend through just so everything is nice and, you know, smooth and blended and seamless. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lid shade, which is like the most fun part. I feel like the lid shade is always like the bam part of the makeup look if you are wanting to go for like that shimmery lid shade. So I'm gonna go in with, if I can find her, here she is, Stephanie. And as you can see, it is a very intense, fiery, orange, foiled kind of shadow. And I'm really excited to put it on my lids right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers. I've just rubbed my pinky into it. And do you see that? Like, that pigment though, okay. So as you can see, I'm just applying this to my lid with my pinky finger and I'm using padding and swapping motions to really get the most out of that pigment. So as you can see, for the most part, that shadow is on. It's looking very messy. I still need to go in and blend. But when it comes to the inner corners, don't be afraid to go in with a different brush to get the shadow right into there because I know that it, it is difficult to like get right into this inner corner with your fingers. So just use a different brush and you should be good. Also, this is the Real Techniques accent brush, just in case you guys were wondering. It's at this point that I will go back in and blend that top edge of the foiled eyeshadow just to make sure that there's no like harsh lines kind of protruding from it. And I'm actually just using the same brush that I used to apply that second transitional shade. So whatever is left on the brush is completely fine and that will actually help to blend that crease through even better. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a darker shadow to the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm going in with this one right here. This is Skylar. As you can see, it is a darker matte brown shadow. And I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. So pretty much what I like to do is apply this to the outer corner of my eyes and then somewhat drag it into whatever shade is on my lid. And again, I'm just going back in and blending through that darker shade that I just apply. I I do try to keep as much of the blending process in the videos that I do as I can, but I know it, it's it's very repetitive. Like, just know that in between applying every single shadow, I pretty much blend. Now for my bottom lash line, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Abigail once more. And I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. What I'm gonna do is pretty much smoke this out along my bottom lash line. I'm also gonna be going back into that shade Skylar, and I'm using that along my bottom lash line as well, but I'm keeping it much closer to the lashes to help define the eye a little more. I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl now and then going in with the Jordana Vest Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I'm just giving my lashes a light coat of this because I will be applying falsies. So for falsies today, I'm gonna to be using the Queen Bee Lashes from Kogo Lashes. <laughs> I never put them away properly, so they're always just like hanging around just out of the box. I really should store them properly, but I use them all the time, so I just never do. But yeah, I'm gonna be using these today. Honestly, I feel like these lashes suit my eyes so well since I do have really big round eyes. I don't know what it is about them, but these just make them look so good. So yeah, I really love them. That's why I use them all the time in pretty much all my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face now that my eyes are done. So I'm taking this shade right here from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheeks with that. And I'm also gonna contour my nose, but you'll see that I'll be using a different brush, which is essentially just an eyeshadow brush. To bronze my face, up, I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So as you can see, I'm just running this around the perimeters of my face and also on my cheeks. And this is really just going to add more life and color back into my face. For blush today, I'm just going in with this really peachy toned one from Milani. This is their Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I'm using, again, a Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. As you can see, I'm just applying this on the apples of my cheeks and dragging it back towards my hairline. Now for highlighter today, I'm going to be going on with this bad boy right here, Fuego Highlighter from Dose of Colors. This was part of the Desi X Katie collection and I'm obsessed. If you guys haven't seen my first impression video on all the products that I got from the collection, I'll put a video link up here somewhere. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be using for my highlighter today and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush, pretty much just bathing my face in this because I love it so much and honestly that glow is 
is it's fuego you know what i mean <laughs> i'm also just going to go ahead and apply some of that fuego highlighter to the inner corners of my eyes and also my brow bones i intentionally did not apply any type of like highlighter shade to that area before because i really wanted to use the fuego highlighter because honestly it's just it's popping Alrighty, so now that the highlighter is done, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Today, I'll be using the Chi Chi Stay On Lip Liner in Spite. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These Chi Chi lip liners are the bomb. They are so creamy, so pigmented and so easy to apply. Now for my actual lip color today, I'm going to be using two of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I have here Cork and Sand. So I'm firstly going to go ahead and apply Cork all over my lips. And then I'm going in with Sand and applying that to the very center of my lips lips and blending that out with my finger. Alrighty guys, this is the completed look. I really do hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the little red subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will leave a list of everything I used in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat or Facebook, all that good stuff is done down below. Anyways, now that that's all said and done, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I'll talk to you guys down in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Stay glowy!